Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. I'm here in the Florida Everglades. Um, I'm on a road called the Big Loop Road that was suggested by a photographer online. Um, lots of birds. Um, it's the dry season here in the Everglades. So we have a lot of uh, migratory birds coming through. And I'm just gonna be flat out honest with you. I don't know all the different species. I've seen a bazillion uh, blue herons, um, some egrets. Um, also some anhingas, which is a cool bird. They actually swim in the water and then they hop up on a branch and uh, they'll dry their wings off. So they'll be sitting around just holding their wings open. I'm fortunate enough to be able to spend three days here. This is the first morning. Um, I'm gonna try to hit a lot of the areas of the glades. Um, and also maybe try to get some landscapes on the coast. So I hope you enjoy and uh, come along for this adventure. Big Loop Road is located just off the Tamiami Trail, which is Florida State Route 41. Going from east to west, it starts out as paved and then goes into a dirt road. However, the road's pretty smooth. There are water channels on either side of the road that hold lots of birds. It's a great little drive if you want to do some quiet photography. My first subject was this great egret who was kind enough to pose in this tree for me in the perfect sunlight. Notice his coal black legs in contrast to his white feathers. A very cool looking bird. This little bird is known as the snowy egret. It's my absolute favorite of the heron family. As you can see it's sporting its breeding plumage, the long wispy feathers or you can see on the tail end and hanging off the chest area. These wispy feathers actually brought $32 an ounce back in the late 1880s and it caused the species to be endangered. But conservation has stepped in and now they are a very common sight in the coastal wetlands. This anhinga has finished his wing drying session and seems to be relaxing until his next venture for food. Based on this bird's eye color and facial markings, my best guess is that this is a little blue heron. If anyone knows for sure, please let me know in the comments below. In any case, a remarkable bird, giving me a great pose. This green heron looks like it's ready to pounce on some prey. These birds sometimes bait their prey by tossing bugs or feathers onto the water's surface, much like a fly fisherman will do. Although the light was a little harsh when I took this shot, it gave me a nice reflection of this pretty bird. After my morning drive on Big Loop Road, I hit some of the boardwalk trails and visitor centers that can be easily found right off Tamiami Trail. At the end of one of the boardwalks, there was an alligator hole where I witnessed this great blue heron doing a little dance. This great egret was also hanging out in the gator hole. If you look closely, you can see that this egret is actually launching off the tail of a gator, sunning himself on a log. Calmer water would have given me a better reflection on this beauty, but so thankful to have the opportunity to witness nature in action. Ah yes, the gator. Probably not the best composition, but I really wanted to focus on his eye as he swam past. Alligators are not particularly aggressive toward humans, but I stayed at a safe distance and shot this guy with my 200 to 500 at a full 500 millimeters, just in case. After hitting some of the visitor centers, I returned to Big Loop Road to finish up my first day. I was not disappointed as I found this black crown night heron another bird with a striking red eye. They like to do most of their feeding at night, while during the day they like to stay concealed in foliage. 
He spooked just a bit, but only went a short distance and gave me this nice pose. This particular bird appears to be a sub-adult due to the yellow color remaining on the lower half of his bill. A fully mature black crown night heron will have a solid black bill. Okay, I'm, lo I'm losing light um, for the video camera here, and um, but I just love these little guys. I love the way the, the feathers flow on them, and they're just beautiful birds. And uh, he's in perfect sunlight, so I was able to get some really crisp shots. And, uh, well, he just flew away, so maybe he didn't like me talking about him. But anyway... Uh, feel like I got some good sharp images and uh, we'll keep going down this road again we're on the big loop road um, it's right off 41 that crosses through the uh, Everglades um, more so on the north side and uh, we have about 10 more miles to go on this road I'm not sure how the lights gonna hold out but uh, hey it's been a great day Wow, did you hear that? That's an angry bird. Well, hopefully there won't be a fight. Um, it's a great blue heron flying around. Can't really get him on video right now, but because he's way up there, but this is a cool place. What a great way to finish the day. Another snowy egret sitting gracefully bathing in the afternoon sunlight with its awesome breeding plumage flowing in the warm breeze. Sometimes you just get lucky. Most of the critters are in the shade so we don't really have any good light to get any more photos. Um, but it's been a great first day here in the Everglades um, I hope you enjoyed it um, I didn't do a lot of vlogging while I was shooting because there were there were lots of people around and I didn't want them to think I was talking to myself like I am now so um, but anyway I hope you enjoyed the video um, and also hope we can get uh, some good action on the next two days um, we're gonna go to different areas um, but for video number one from the Everglades that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll know when the new videos are coming up. And I uh, appreciate your support. That's all for now. Take care.